The Wolfman is a 1941 American horror film directed by George Wagner, hope I'm saying his name right, and starring Ron Chaney Jr. in the title role. It is the second feature from Universal to feature Werewolf, Werewolf after Werewolf of London, and had a great influence on werewolf culture ever since. Anyway, let's get started with the review. The plot of this film revolves around a man named Larry Talbot, Talbot, don't know how to say his name, who is visiting his homeland to witness the burial of his deceased brother while also reconnecting with his father after a long time apart. He is visiting, visiting with the, while he is visiting with the townsfolk, however, he learns about the legend of the werewolf, a man who changes into a wolf under a full autumn moon. He dismisses it at first until he is attacked by a mysterious beast and learns from a deceased fortune teller's mother that it was a werewolf, her werewolf for that matter, and that Larry is now cursed. Now, this plot is pretty straightforward. It's just a man who can shift into a ferocious monster. However, the way it's portrayed is surprisingly pretty effective since Larry never has any memory of the attacks he goes on in his monster, monster form. And the fact that he seems to have no control over it makes almost makes it feel like he's possessed by something that's causing him to do this. And the story does make does a good job of making you care for the characters, especially Larry's love interest Gwen, played by Evelyn Anchors, who some soon gets herself tangled up in Larry's web of violence and murder. I give plot an A minus. Average werewolf werewolf tale tale, but for the time it's told in a very impressive way. Next is acting. Lon Chaney Jr. added a dimension to Larry Talbot that made him ver feel very li relatable. For starters, even though he was visiting his childhood home, he recognizes none of the characters, which I feel is a situation we could all find ourselves in. In his interactions off Evelyn Anchors, it's done pretty well and actually does manage to give off the illusion that they not only like each other, but have been dating as well, for a while as well. So I give props to Lon and Evelyn's ghosts for that impressive portrayal. I give acting an A-. Finally, directing. This was easily the best part of the film. For starters, George, v George Wagner shows very little of the werewolf throughout the feature. And when you do see it on the screen, it's pretty v vague and obscured by shadows, trees, etc. And when the werewolf actually is seen, even the, though the effects are dated, it still manages to be very effective because throughout the film there is a lot of talk about this creature and how powerful it truly is that leaves room for the imagination as well as some great anticipation before the ultimate reveal. It almost reminds me of the way Spielberg built up to the reveal of the shark in Jaws. I give directing an A+. For a film with very, a very limited budget, it does make very good use of what it has and ends up being pretty effective. Overall, The Wolfman is a pretty is probably one of the best Universal Monster movies I have seen in a, seen so far. And that's mainly because it actually does manage to be scary in some areas, especially when it comes to suspense and, as well as atmosphere. There is also some beautiful cinematography in this, such as the shots of the dark forest, that manage to be both very eerie, yet somehow very stunning at the same time. All in all, it ends up being a very, a very engaging watch, it ends up proving that you can go a long way in terms of engaging a fright from your audience just by doing less. Another thing that makes this film so surprisingly scary is the fact, as I might have said before, Larry has no recollection of his attacks. So the fact that he has little to no control over it is very uncomfortable to even think about. I give the Wolfman an A. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and sub for more content.